Hello everybody, my name is Meta underscore Meister, and this... Wait, no, we don't want to go there. No! No, 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 no! I was in the middle of the so intro and I messed up! Where do I go? Oh well. Um... Meta underscore Meister! And this... is Stasis. And I'm currently going to the wrong location. But yeah, so there's two breaker boxes. Probably have to do something with both of them. Bust them open, both open. All right, breaker box. Tan Ram charging trish gun. So we gotta put something in between these two suckers. Oh, we got got one right there. But I can't touch it, so. Let's go look at the other one really quick. See what we got going over here. Tram line breaker. Go ahead and put the fuse on in there. Sorry, my ear is really. All right, so that looks right. Recharge the tram. Power levels 100%. Okay, the tram's power. I see it. Give me a second. I'm saying your destination from the medical wing. Does that mean I just jump on the tram? Let's give it a try. Let's see if we explode. I feel like you might need to put the fuse back in the breaker box, but I mean, the other breaker box for the thingamabobs, but let's see if we die first. Apparently we had achievements by dying, so. Current station product storage. Um... It doesn't, doesn't look like it's right. Maybe we gotta get that charger thing off? Sorry, this is not very becoming of a YouTuber, I'm sorry. Uh, product storage and processing. One power charging status. It's just 100. We'll do. Here, line up borderline active. Hold on, destination set. Stop tram will be on your way. Like the game was broken for a second. All right, run. Don't walk, run. There's a thing here trying to kill us. Get in there quickly, John. Go, go, go. Don't get grabbed. Go quickly before they get you. He died. I mean, I shouldn't speak ill of the dead. Uh, Me. I'm such a bad boy. What uh oh. How many of your cockroaches do I have to kill, Miss Hensi? Milan, let's talk about this. This was the last straw. I'm coming for you next. And as for your little egg. Warning. Craig's 
disabled. Low pass filters disabled. Structural integrity compromised. An evacuation is advised. He's going to be around the I was looking around. There's no options. Oh, I'm not naked. I just thought I was naked. He looks pretty naked when you're not looking at him close up like that. All right, well, I'm going to go on the lot of limb and say this is a bad idea. First things first. Where the hell am I? I definitely heard a little girl say dad. Hmm, I could use this. <laughs> All prim and proper. Good for you, John. Good for the even times of strife. PDA! More reading! One. He left in 2148. Three years ago. This bastard's had us here for three years. <laughs> Kane certainly spared no expense in the engineering decks. More often than not, the air conditioning breaks faster than maintenance can come back to fix it. The walk to the restrooms can exceed ten minutes on a good day. It's of no consequence with lunch retirement package. With the lush retirement package, Kane is prepared for me. I'd happily work in a cardboard box lined with thumbtacks for the rest of my career. I'm scheduled to receive my new heart and lungs within the next few months, obviously, while they're um, having clones. At which point, I may finally retire to join my wife, Rosalind, in Chicago. Until then, cigarettes and food of the highest saturated fat content will carry me through the day. Who cares if you're going to get new body parts from clones? This evening, I was surveyed, surveying the equipment on the decks when I noticed something rather unusual. A very fine layer of some sort of fungal substance is beginning to settle on the machinery. It's even found its way into the dials and monitors. They look filthy on the inside. Given the conditions around here, though, the growth of the mold on any surface should come as no surprise. But it seems to be interfering directly with the performance of the Groom Lake. So it's, some, it's of some urgency that it's taken care of. I've reported it to maintenance. Hopefully they'll be quick in cleaning it up. I doubt it, considering what I've read so far. Kane Corporation must be pleased with my performance so far. I woke up to a promotion. I'm in charge of the construction of new cloning vats. Effective immediately. I have little time to elaborate. This job is important and urgent, I believe. I've never anticipated the projects would be on such a huge scale. Clones were created in mass quantities, utilizing several megavats fitted with special equipment and enrichment liquid. To accelerate the growth process, I must enhance the rate at which we'll be creating clone batches. They've invented a method of manufacturing human beings faster than humans can biologically. Project Seed insists that the clone vats are put to use immediately. Despite the fact that they're far from complete, the vats can certainly sustain the cloning process. But some safety precautions are lacking, like 
The holding chambers for research clones have no power routed to them, so the electronics look locks are useless. The walkways above the vats are still only temporary. Old Sullivan fell over the guardrail into the va a vat yesterday. Had it not been fitted with sanitizing solution, we would have lost him. The clones appear to operate entirely on instinct. One of the complete human clones in the vat, Theta, bit a good chunk out of bit a good chunk out of Miss Kane. Kian's ear during feeding time. Blech. Three of the completed research clones tore through their holding chambers analog locks last night over the in the labs. They found Peters bent over backwards with his head between his knees. He is not going to be walking again anytime soon. Maintenance will be fixing the electronic locks this evening. O'Sullivan has asked to be assigned to a different project. O'Sullivan's request was denied. Kian, however, has been transferred to Project Seed. I've been stealthily increasing the portions of food to Elon's batch in Vat 449. Although they're just hearts and lungs, I can't help but feel an attachment. Additionally, we've noticed a mass of organic matter that has sprouted a tail and swims around aimlessly. O'Sullivan wants to name it after his mother-in-law, who is their right mind names a, who in their right mind names a defective clone. Samantha, the impossible human fish monstrosity crushed Elon with her thrashing as she was being removed from her vat. Most of the other clones in the batch have similar deformities. None of them actually grew into heart and lung tissue as they were meant to do. In fact, the results thus far are truly horrifying. Everyone has been acting strange lately. O'Sullivan didn't show up this week, leaving me to tend to the vats by myself. I don't understand why that's being permitted, but management would have most certainly dragged him down here by the cheeks if there was no legitimate justification. Speaking of cheeks, one of the complete human clones took a chunk out of mine when I was escorting it to the research labs. Groom Lake has been completely locked down. A massive tremor shook and collapsed the walkways over the cloning vats. I'm trapped. I can't access the bulkhead. If this lockdown is anything like I heard the last one was, it should be over soon enough. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Two packs of cigarettes will only last for so long. I can hear screams of terror through the ceiling. They echo. Each reverberation is a reminder that I am a fortunate to be down here and not up there although my supplies are running out i sincerely hope that i don't have to swim for it if the clones don't get me cardiac arrest from the aerobic exercise will because you eat poorly i'm going to attempt to swim across vat theta i'll reach the other side and try to get myself to the next level of the ship clones have been violently floundering in the growth liquid given what they do did to peters i might not see the other side of this vat the, rem the remainder of this entry is to be delivered to my wife should i read it Guys, it's very personal. YouTube time! Rosalind, I can only hope that I have the opportunity to deliver this to you myself. If not, I must ex attempt to express with words what I have longed to convey physically. Should I die before I get off this vessel, every moment of my life, every cumulative experience that has influenced my being, will scream your name begging the reality of inevitable death to spare me, if only to touch you once more. I apologize for and regret every second I have spent away from you. Until that moment we first met, my heart was a void, lacking the fierce fires of passion that you have bestowed within. No matter the outcome of my escape, I will be long dead before they are extinguished. For an eternity after I have perished, you will live on, your name will ring out through the galaxy, a testament to all existence that there can never exist a love greater than what I have for you. Your love is my life. As such, I am immortal. Well, let's see what we got in the toolbox here. Well, where the hell am I going to find the key in this mess? So there's nothing in there? A faded image of a woman smells back you from the water damaged wall calendar. Remarkable poster. Unremarkable posters intact to the wall. I was going to say, if it was remarkable, I think you'd have um, details on it. Tia, so, yeah, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm in some sort of. Oh, I'm not sure what to call it. in there. It's alive. Oh, 
it still has fuel in it. So look at this. My goodness, I'm not quite sure what all that stuff is. Um, destroyed crosswalk. Uh, I feel like this is gonna kill me. Oh gosh! Electricity pole. You gonna shock them all to I death? Is that the plan? Too easy. We have a drill. Definitely don't want any of these clone things eating my face off. Isn't gonna work. Why not? Hmm. Probably not a good idea. There you go, buddy. Okay. Now let's see what I can do. Oh, that's not. The darkness pervades ever deeper, concealing the size of the chamber. I'm not really quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing with this generator thing, but. <laughs> oh man. I'm at a fairly big loss here. Can you not just take the exposed wires so we can use them for something? Ugh. Well, everybody, I'm at a pretty big loss here, and we're getting pretty close to the end of the time, so I'm just going to go ahead and call it here. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I'm getting more and more into this game, and I hope you guys are too. And I hope you guys have a great day and tune in next time. See you later, everybody. We've got what you need, tough guy. We've got what you need, um, a joke. <laughs>